Hey everybody, this is Darman back with uh, that promised box opening video from Masters 25. So we're going to rip this open and uh, get it done. -ed. Take all the stuff out of it. You can't see it here, but it's got a bunch of crap in the way. We're going to get the box out of the way and just have the packs here all right I know there's been some hoo-ha out there on the interwebs about Rudy and whatever the hell happened on his show um, I believe that was a fluke if he didn't doctor it then it was a fluke but he sure got a lot of hits on his his a uh, channel so I don't believe we have anything to worry about nobody else seems to be getting a similar thing going on but even if so, maybe if you buy two, you get two Jaces. I don't know. He didn't, but, you know, so. Anyway, here's our first pack. We're going to rip right into it. And uh, we're going to look right on down. Fierce Empath. Mikokuru. Sweet. Animog Flunkies. Animorph. So Mikokuru is pretty sweet. Great Commander card. Even gets a little play, I think, in modern once in a while, maybe. Eight. Jalera. Figure eight. Hannah. Notion Thief. Already got a foil rare. Look at that. Um, so there's that. You know, we could talk about the EV, which everybody wants to talk about. And you know me, I'm all about entertainment value, but I guess I ought to center up the frame a little better there. Boom, infiltrator. Look at that, Blood Moon. Blood Hunter Bat. So, we ought to talk about the entertainment value of ripping open a box. I still think your best bet when you're doing that is to get some friends and draft it. Or come out here to the store and draft. Bring your friends in here. We'll draft here. Savannah Lines. There's some EV entertainment value. Old school rare downshifted all the way to a common. Um, lots of playability right there. Arcade Denial. Look at this, man. We need to be taking a look at some of these cards because they are freaking awesome. Dark Red. The old Colossus. Myriad Landscape. Oh, look at there. There's that Imperial Recruiter. That's that seventy dollar card. Oh, all right. So, if we're talking about monetary value, it's probably going to settle down. It had a, a lot of rarity going for it, is why it was so high because it was hard to come up with them. Seeing lots of fun stuff to draft here. Another dark red, perilous mirror. Not that old, but lots of fun. Brian Elemental, Vesuvian Shapeshifter. Borrowing 10,000 arrows. All right. Yeah, I know I'm not ripping through them like some of those professional pack openers, but uh, I don't give a shit. We're going to post this on the YouTube, so I'm going to say some words now and then. Retraction Helix, part of a bunch of combos in this, in this set. If you want to draft for combos, there is a bunch of them. Not your normal archetypes to be drafting. Play Gwen. Um, you know, it's not just lined up to be drafted, you know, green, white, red, black, that kind of thing. It's lined up to be drafted, you know, old style, since we are going back. Cultivate, always a nice card. There's a lot of entertainment in that. And I like I like these uh these watermarks. Pretty sweet look at that on the old sets there. Alliances. Curse catcher, nice. Pyroclasm, that's old school goodness. Vindicate, check that out. Yeah. So we're just closing in on a third of it. But you know what? If you're in a hurry, you wouldn't be watching this anyway, would you? Vessel, that's not that old, but still part of Magic's history, right? Rat catcher. Swift Foot, Foil Swift Foot, nice. Swift Foot, Swift Foot, Swift Foot, me no talk good. All right, let's throw my wrappers on top of my, unpack, my unopened packs. Wow, that's smart. All right, Accumulated Knowledge, 
That's some old school drawing tech for you there. Read that card. There's your there's your entertainment. Kindle. Once again, kind of plays in the same space. The more you get in your graveyard, the better they get. I remember those Jackal Pup. That was a beat stick back there in the old slide decks. Look it up. It's part of history. Got downshifted, rarity downshift to an uncommon. This is going to be a great card to draft. Freed from the real. Horseshoe Crab. Make anything a horseshoe crab. Oh, my God. Pendle Haven. Hey, nice. Pyre Hound. Okay. We get some nice pulls here. I'm enjoying them. Hope you guys are. Lots of great stuff here. It doesn't have to be. I'm getting a lot of cultivates. Those are nice cards. Disenchant. That's a rarity downshift, didn't it? Yeah, she was a rare. Gonna be pretty relevant. Uh, uh, she gets a non legendary to reveal a non legendary creature. I guess not so relevant. Browbeat. <gasps> Looky there. What a box. Jace and Imperial Recruiter in the same box. And a full Cultivate, just to top it off. That there, my friends, is a sweet box. That's a sweet box. Don't let anybody tell you it's not. Yeah, it's going to be above average on value, no doubt. If you're looking at the dollars, Presence of Gun. There's you another part of some combos. Mm -hmm. Do some stuff. Murder, just... Kill whatever you don't like, I guess, on the field, you know. Nettle Sentinel, that's great for the elf decks. Nice reprint. Blue Elemental Blast, back in the day. Uh-huh. Lightning Bolt, sweet. Rest in peace, nice and modern. Yeah, it's a little sad that uh, stuff like Lightning Bolt, we can't get the old art. I think I may have commented before, but those original artists uh, had a different art agreement so they've been replacing all that art over the years they used to get paid for i believe every time their art got printed so it was based on the number of cards that were printed and then newer artists by comparison just get paid like simeon spirit guide get paid uh flooded grove the filter lands are back yeah and then the newer artists, uh, I think, get paid like a just a lump sum, you know, for their art. So one of the reasons we're not seeing that old art is that wizards would be out a ton of cash if they upheld those old original agreements, I guess. Or maybe the artists don't want to re-sign to get less. I, I really don't know. Pillage, hey, hey, back in the day, got lots of play. That's kind of a rhyme. Ash Barons, that's a nice reprint right there for out of Commander. Will the Wisp got downgraded to an uncommon? Corsair Crufix. Fencing Ace. Yeah. Nice, entertaining cards. EV super high on this box. And all Squadron Hawk. Oh, man. In here with Jace and everything, but it's missing some of the pieces from back in the day, right? All right, what else we got? Zombify, good solid card. Eidolon, Arcane Denial Foil, sweet, very sweet. Eidolon gets that modern play for your burn decks. Gonna be nice to bring that down. Diabolic Edict, great card. Really good for you pauper players. Brainstorm, another. Nice copy of that. Ancient Stirrings, good reprint for the modern folks. Tron players need those, right? Boom, Gisela. Foil Disenchant. Boom, Gisela. Commander players go, boom, Gisela. All right, what else we got here? There's that horseshoe crab. Homero was telling me there was a bunch of combos of that. Well, untap him. You're going to do lots of crazy things with that. So I don't know how many. I'm not even going to try to count them. Somebody hit me up in the comments and let me know how many there are. Nick's Fleece Ram. Nice re reprint on that. Conflux. Fallen Angel Foil. All right. We're to two-thirds or something. And I just keep burying my packs underneath empty packs. All right. There you go, you goblin players. Hordling Outburst. Get some trees. 
Come in sometime, let me tell you about playing my Tree Folk deck versus Richard Garfield at Memphis. Yeah, I got a great story. Swords of Plowshares. Prosh! Prosh is, Prosh is you know, fun, but he's not, he's not much. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I uh, posted up the... Uh, The guarantee, the get a tree guarantee or whatever people are calling it. Hey, that's pretty recent, but, you know, great card. If you buy a pack of Masters 25 and you get the tree of redemption, a lot of places are offering you a free pack. Just trade in the cards. Living death. Trade in the cards you just got and get another pack. So I'm going to do that. You know, I, I don't see anything wrong with tree of redemption. It is a... It's a pretty cheap mythic if we're going to look at dollar value. If you'd like to trade in that pack, we're going to do it. But I added Prosh to it because if you go looking, he's a cheaper card than uh, the Tree of Redemption. So we're going to add him in. Check out my Facebook page. I made a little rhyme. Make us of the wheel. So you get Tree of Redemption or Prosh as your mythic in your pack. And you can trade the whole pack. Got to open it in front of me. You can trade the whole pack back in, get a second pack. Or a replacement pack. However you want to look at that. Man of War, boy, back in the day, we got an old Magic player don't play no more named Shane Binkley. <laughs> See him, ask him about Man of War. All right, another Ash Barons. Notion Thief. Foil Presence of Gone. Nice. We can combo up in style. We got three packs left. We're going to get it in in under 15. If you had more life to live than watching this, then good for you. Um, so we got some awesome stuff here. Another Man of War, Prophetic Prism, Tusker. I played the heck out of that back in the day. Godzilla up at Metagames. I'm just shouting out to a whole bunch of people today. Red Blast. We had a Blue Blast earlier. There's a Red Blast. Quicksand. Look at that. Rurik Thar. Rurik Thar, he's unbound. All right. Not fun to play against in Commander other than if I'm playing my all-critter deck. Then he's not so bad. All right. What else we got coming up here? We got... Murder of Crows. Woo! Hit a port. Got me a god box on the value, didn't I? Got me a god box, they call them. Hitting all the big things. What else we got? Last pack. What is there left to get? I've got my foil rare. I've got all the big guys. What is there that I have? Counterspell. Haven't hit a counterspell. Check that out. Love those watermarks. That'll Sentinel again. Relentless Rats. There we go. Put all you want in the deck. Play Rats. Street Wraith. Nice. I don't think we'd hit one of those. Good modern card right now. Will Bender, Cloud Blazer, love that. That's a great limited card right there. Reef Worm, there's your commander card. Oh, looky there, a second foil rare in this box. Holy mackerel. So anyway, there you have it. Uh, that's my box opening on the Masters 25. Hope you all come in and pick up a few packs. Check out the guarantee. And uh, we'll see you in the store this week. Come on out and draft with us. Well, hell, look what I just found cleaning up all my trash. One more pack. Uh, so, again, what can be left to get out of this? Two foil rares in the box. Got a bunch of the big dogs, but we're going to open it. I'll add this on to the video. We'll see. Cinderstorm. All right. The crab, the oak, jackal pup. We talked about that a little bit. Primal clay used to be a rare. Blightning. Not bad. Genju of the Spires, Ordeal of Heliod, Fetid Heath, <laughs> it had a filter land in it, and a Foil Chandra's Outrage. So there you go, that is the last one, I cleaned up all my stuff, uh, so we'll tack that on for one more pack. Thanks again for watching.